All right, so let's move on to the most asked question, which is how can you improve your BSR ranking? Most of the sellers that I've spoken to have told me that it's almost impossible to affect your BSR ranking, but that is not true. Especially when you are a beginner seller, there are a lot of techniques and tactics that you can use to improve your bestseller ranking. And I'm going to be talking about just that. So let's take a look. Hey sellers, I'm Ria Mithil and welcome back to another guide video by Seller App. And today we are going to be discussing one of the most controversial topics or controversial key metrics that uh, we have come across on Amazon. It is called Amazon Bestseller Rank or Amazon BSR. Amazon BSR is still an enigma for most of the sellers out there, be it beginner or intermediate. So in this video, we're going to be talking about what Amazon sales rank is. Uh, we're going to be talking about how you can improve it and how it works. So let's get on with it. So to begin with, let's understand what is Amazon's uh, bestseller rank. So in simple terms, Amazon bestseller rank is a numeric term or a numeric that is assigned to your product to see how well it's doing on the platform or how popular it is on the platform. And here's what the metric looks like. It is fantastic indicator of how well your product is doing on Amazon. So if you're wondering how Amazon calculates your BSR, well, it is a very well-kept secret on Amazon, but our best guess is that it updates automatically every hour. Also, Amazon takes into consideration your historic product performance and your key metrics indicator to assign a bestseller rank for you. So if you're wondering why BSR is important for your product, well, it's one of the main indicators to tell you how well your product is doing on Amazon or how popular your product is on Amazon when compared in the same category. And we are going to be talking about this a little bit more uh, when we move on with the video. But before that, I want to show you how you can find your BSR. So let's take a look at that now. To, so to find your BSR, first you have to open up your Amazon product listing and scroll down to the product information section. So as you can see here, this is the bestseller rank of this particular product. So now a question. Did you notice anything very peculiar or interesting here? So there are two bestseller ranks for this product. Essentially, a product can have multiple BSRs. So this happens if and when your product is listed into more than one category. That's when you'll notice you have more than one BSR listed on your listing. So again, Amazon has a very particular algorithm that works differently in different categories and subcategories. So your BSR might vary when it comes to different categories, as you can see here. In this particular example that we're looking at currently, we're, we can see that we're ranking on kitchen and dining, that's the main category, and wine glasses is the subcategory. So once you figure out your bestseller rank, the next question that will automatically come to you is, is BSR good? The answer is, however, a little bit confusing and relative. Let me explain to you how. So in a saturated category, um, if your BSR is above average, that means your sales are still good and that means you are ranking rather well when compared to other categories. So let's take an example. For example, if two similar products that are being sold in the same category have a BSR of 10 and 25 respectively, chances are that they're still the best sellers even though they are 15 ranking apart. At the same time, in a niche category, a high BSR might not signify that you have high sales. So of course, it depends on your niche, your category, and how saturated your category is. So now I'm going to be tackling a question which I get asked quite a lot. You must be wondering why your BSR keeps jumping back and forth or why does it keep changing off so often? Well, let's understand this with a quick animation. Sometimes it is difficult to see rankings jump from one day to the next. Amazon actually does not update its sales rank in real time. So normally for up to rank 10,000 of a category, updates are done on an hourly basis. Ranks up to 100,000 updates are daily. All rankings above it monthly. Therefore, selling your product does not immediately lead to an improvement in a bestseller rank in the relevant categories. If the Amazon sales rank of a product is in the range of more than 50,000, a single sale can already have a lot in store. Many sellers are wondering how can it jump from 100,000 to 10,000 within a day? 
well if if it's assumed that the products with the sales rank of more than 100000 can only be sold once every few days sales can lead to an immediate increase in your bsr ranking if the product has no sales for several days its sales rank drops again drastically or depending on the category slowly well moving on we are now coming to a very exciting and most debated topic on any amazon forum when it comes to bsr is what are the factors that are affecting your bsr ranking and what you can do about it well we as seller app can confidently say that these are the factors that we have seen time and again affect a seller's bsr ranking or your bsr ranking however we need to understand that uh, we have no information of how, how amazon works it's a well kept secret um, about the algorithms but we can confidently say that these factors do affect your best seller ranking and we're going to be talking about just that before i move forward if you have any questions leave them in the comment box below and our experts are going to answer them for you um as soon as possible so i'll see you in the comment box and let's move on to the video so let's take a look at the factors the first factor is current sales your sales velocity actually has a lot of impact on your bsr if you have a very regular a uh, sales velocity every day and if you have a certain amount of orders that you're getting every day your bsr ranking is set to increase however if your sales velocity starts decreasing you will notice a drop in your bsr ranking as well to historic sales so as i mentioned before amazon does um take a look at your sales history and understands your sales momentum to assign you a bsr rank so the sales momentum of a product impacts your bsr more than uh, your sales volume and it takes a couple of hours i would say 2 to 3 hours for um, a sale to affect your bsr ranking so keep that in mind so let's take an example suppose product a has a sales volume of 1000 in the past 15 days while product b made up about 500 sales in the same period of time If in a particular hour of the day product B has 25 more orders than product A then the BSR of B will be better than product A. So of course if you're wondering that this is too much of a hassle for you do not worry you can use seller app sales dashboard to monitor your uh, past and current sales trends and this tool is available on a dashboard so let's take a look at that. You can now know your true revenue margins, view profit instantly, track all Amazon sales data in real time and analyze your product financial health to maximize your profits. You can also check out our tool by clicking the link in the description and trust me this is a lifesaver. Third is pricing changes. So pricing changes is extremely important when it comes to uh, your BSR ranking and any pricing changes made to your product will impact your uh, sales rank. This includes running promotion and discounts on your product. Time and again, we have proven to you how important repricing strategies are for you and how important it is for you to mark your product in the right um price. Amazon is focused on conversions, so having that right pr a price point on your product makes a lot of difference. Fourth is seasonality. If you are selling a product that is a little bit seasonal in nature or if you've seen the sales increase um in one particular season you are going to notice your bsr ranking increase only in that particular season and when your product of course the momentum comes down uh your bsr ranking is going to drop as well it is completely dependent on your niche so moving on as i mentioned before we're going to be talking about why your sales rank is important to you and if you're wondering how you can understand your product better and what are the metrics that you can understand from your bsr we're going to be looking at just that so first your sales rank shows trust your bsr the higher your bsr it shows how popular your product is and you can actually compare this to ratings and reviews of your product that means your customer is going to trust your product more and you are going to get more conversions from your listing if you have a high bsr two your bsr can actually provide you with a competitive edge So BSR actually provides you a lot of information when it comes to your competitors or when you're doing competitor research. It can also help you understand a lot about the niche that you're selling your product in. Apart from understanding the sellability of your product, you can also find out which products in your category are ranked the best like on the top. And of course, you can visit their listings, see what they're doing right, and you can actually run advertising campaigns targeting their listing as well. 
So this is where it gives you a competitive edge. Third, you can estimate the amount of sales that your product is getting using BSR. This is a very important metric and actually useful metric when it comes to understanding how many sales your product is getting, but you can also get a rough estimate of how many sales your competitors are making um, so that their BSR is so high and if they're ranking higher than you. Of course, this is a rough estimate. If you want to understand how many sales your competitor product is making and if you want accurate data, you can use SellerApp's free Chrome extension. But if you want to know about SellerApp's Chrome extension and what else it can do, here's a video that we just made and it will tell you all about how to use SellerApp's Chrome extension and what are the features available to you. Did I mention that it was free already? Uh, go check it out. Fourth, it actually helps you increase your sales. And if you're wondering how, once you understand how your, what affects your BSR, you can actually use it to increase your sales, as I mentioned before, by running advertising campaigns. And you need to understand that with more sales comes more reviews and with more reviews comes more trust and more trusted customers that are going to buy your products more often. So understand that increasing your sales results in more um, customer loyalty and you can increase your sales by understanding how your BSR works. Fifth is brand awareness. So once you are ranking really high in your category, Amazon will provide you with the best seller badge. Once you have that badge on your listing and if your listing is showing up on the top of your Amazon search results, people are going to search for more products in your specific brand if you have any. And it also creates a subliminal advertising for your product being on the top of the search page. All right, so let's move on to the most asked question which is how can you improve your BSR ranking? Most of the sellers that I've spoken to have told me that it's almost impossible to affect your BSR ranking, but that is not true. Especially when you are a beginner seller, there are a lot of techniques and tactics that you can use to improve your bestseller ranking. And I'm going to be talking about just that. So let's take a look. First one is get more product reviews. I have mentioned this time and again, product reviews are really important. Our customer survey shows that 85% of the sellers trust product reviews as they are word of mouth recommendations. Reviews are actually driving factors for your product. The more trusted reviews you have, the more trust is going to gain um, amongst your customer base and the more sales you're going to make. The more sales you make, the better your BSR ranking. If you have just started selling on Amazon and you have noticed that you do not have enough reviews and you are wondering how you can drive uh, a lot of reviews to your product or how you can get more reviews on your product, let's take a few tips on how you can do that. So the first one is sign up for wine program by Amazon. Second, include product inserts, but be sure you're very careful about that. Amazon has strict policies when it comes to product inserts on what you can do and what you cannot include. And of course, the third one is request a review button by Amazon. We recently did a webinar with Ecom Engine. They have really good, they have really good insights on what can drive reviews to your listing, and they have a software that can help you do that as well. Check out the pop-up on the screen right now. It'll help you um, see the webinar, and you can get those reviews on your listings. Second, do proper keyword research. Keyword research is really important in gaining the visibility. Um, on Amazon and if you're not getting visibility, you're not making enough sales. So make sure you're selecting the right keywords which are relevant to your products. And of course, if you are struggling to find data, check out SellerApp's keyword research tool and we will help you find the keywords which are relevant to your product and whether they're indexed or not. Again, once you've found all the relevant keywords, make sure that you're placing them in your listing correctly, they're indexed in your listing correctly. And once you start gaining the visibility, and with the reviews that you've already gotten before, it is going to help increase your sales rank tremendously. Moving on to the third one, which is you need good quality product images on your listings. According to a survey that we conducted, it shows that 60% of your customer base think that your product images are worth more than your descriptions and are more helpful than the descriptions. So make sure you are getting your product images professionally clicked and you can also use services like PicFu uh, to conduct A-B testing on your images as well. So like I mentioned before, it is really important for you to optimize the listing properly and product images are really important aspect of that. Make sure that you have good quality pictures 
uh, search the top selling products using the BSR uh, ranking, check what kind of product images they're using and try to implement the same in your product listing. So moving on, fourth is creating a good copy for your product listing. Time and again, I have come across listings which are um, a pain to read to be honest because there's keyword stuffing, title is not optimized, description is not optimized. A lot of sellers that I speak to actually take um, services uh, to write their copies and these external services actually write your Amazon content for algorithms and not for the customers. So do not forget that of course you have to use proper keywords in your listing but the listing has to be readable, thoughtful, you need to have a brand story that needs to be portrayed um, in your listing and make your listing for the customer and not for the algorithm. And of course, do not forget to include your unique selling points in your listing. This is what makes it different from your competitor and can help drive their sales rank up. And of course, the fifth one is promote, promote, and you have to promote your listing. I'm sure most of you already know how crucial Amazon advertising is. No matter how good your images are, how many reviews you have on your product, if your um, copy is written well and your listing is optimized, if you're not um, paying for the paid visibility, your product is not going to be shown on the first page of Amazon. Um, it is very difficult to rank on the first page and get the visibility without paid campaigns. And of course, as I mentioned before in the video, you can actually use BSR to find the competitor products which are ranking higher than you and run targeted ads on their listing. Um, trust me, once you start getting the visibility, once you start making sales, you are going to experience a very high ranking in your BSR. Apart from paid campaigns, these are other four things that you can do to drive traffic to your listing. The first one, of course, is Amazon PPC ad. Second is social media promotions. Third, offer a lightning deal. And fourth, if you want to do a giveaway um, on your social channels and you can lead that traffic to your Amazon listing where a customer can purchase your product for free, but it does get a lot of um, you know, traffic to your listing. Sixth is choose Amazon FBA. Amazon FBA not only aids in your BSR ranking, but it actually helps in your other aspects of Amazon journey as well. Once you are Amazon FBA fulfilled, your order gets delivered on time, leading to more reviews, which are positive, of course. And um, it also helps you gain the buy box. If you have the buy box, that means you're making more sales. Your BSR ranking is bound to increase. Last but not the least, try offering Prime on your product. Most of the customers, when they are searching for a product on Amazon, there is a filter very much visible on the page called Prime Enabled. So once they enable Prime, all the products which are not Prime vanish instantly and you do not want to be in the situation. And if you're wondering what's in it for you, let's take a look at some stats. Amazon features 153 plus million Prime members which outnumber the non-Prime users. This is a huge amount of audience that is something that you as a seller cannot ignore. So these are some tactics that you can use to improve your bestseller ranking. I understand that improving your bestseller ranking is not an easy task, but if you are fulfilling the seven criteria that I uh, mentioned, you will see an increase or improvement in your BSR ranking. And of course, do not forget that sales is the most important part when it comes to your bestseller ranking. So sales is the one that's going to determine whether you rank high or not, of course, um, including the seven strategies that I mentioned. So do whatever you can to get those sales momentum up. So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any more doubts or questions, leave them below in the uh, comment box and we will answer them for you. If you are looking to try out Seller App and their services, make sure to reach us at sales at the rate sellerapp.com and we can help you kickstart your Amazon journey, boost your Amazon journey, or how our paid services can, of course, help you win on Amazon. And of course, if you have any topic suggestions for us, leave them again in the comment box below. We are constantly looking for new topics to create videos on that you guys want to see. So leave them in the comment box below and we do create them um, at a regular pace. Do not forget to click the bell icon next to the subscribe button so you are notified each time um, a new video comes out by Seller App. And again, until the next time I see you, happy selling.